Patrick, Scandic is just looking better and better. How do you do that? <laughs> we train a lot. Um, I mean, he's getting stronger, he's a little bit older, and he's done. Amsterdam was a really good show, so of course you build yourself up, you have a lot of confidence, and uh, I mean, Göteborg is just my show, you know, I love it here. It's the same as Falsterbo, it's the two best shows in the world, I always say, and uh, thankfully he was with me and I was super happy, so uh, we just keep on doing it, and you know, they get more routine and the horses get older, and yeah, yourself get maybe a little bit wiser. <laughs> You never get older. Oh, you say so because you're sweet, but uh, um, I just looked at the program today with Christian Krusenstern and he was like, I'm not 35. And then I looked at him and I said, shit, you're getting 35 this year. So, yeah, but it's nice. Every age has its charm, I think. And what is the charm of this year for you? The charm of this year is that I have a lovely wife. And uh, you keep saying that <laughs> she must be so pleased. <laughs> well, she is great. She is the best thing in my life with my horses and uh, with the horses. It's uh, yeah, I just do good and try to reach the final now in Rio Macra World Cup and then hopefully go to Europeans with a good thing. And then, of course, next year the Olympics. That's what we all want to do and what we hope for. We usually ask uh, what the best quality is with, with your horse, but what is the best quality with your wife? She's just funny, nice, always in a good mood. We, you know, we can talk for hours, we can just have fun together. She makes me laugh, should I go on? She's just great. And what about your horse? I think it's the same as well. He's just, I mean, Scandic is just one of these horses that really wants to please you. He really tries and he wants to and you know when he goes into the ring no matter what he does he always you know there for you and i think that's a quality that you have to search in horses most horses always looks amazing outside and then in the ring it you get the trouble but with scanic it's almost the other way around when he comes into the ring he's just like okay i know what i'm doing just hold on dad and now let's go and i think that's the best thing with him how did you discover him what was it with him that kind of you know caught your eyes well, it wasn't uh, love at first sight. It was quite difficult. Uh, this really nice guy from Holland, he uh, tipped Jan Greve, the, that, uh, what do you call it, one third owner. And um, he said, you know, yeah, I know this really good Swedish guy. He really rides well. And back then I did, I did OK, but not amazing. And he was like, I don't know this man. And, oh, and he said, yeah, but he has to come and try. So I went there and I tried. And we connected straight ahead. And I could still see Jan Greve's face when he was smiling when I rode him. It was, and I said, OK. We tried for a month, and I tried it for a month, and after that I said I'd never let him go. And now he's been getting fantastic. He's uh, just getting higher and higher scores every time. Uh, how far can he go? I don't think he has a limit. I mean, uh, I think the day you think you have a limit, I think it's the day when you will go backwards. Uh, the horse is amazing. I'm getting to ride better and better. And uh, I just hope that, you know, both horse and rider stay sound and happy, and uh, we'll see where it ends. And what other horses do you have at home? You have a, a quite full stable right now? Yeah, luckily I have a great sponsor, I'll let Jasper and Ed call. They are really good people. They sponsor me, helping me, and they have a horse called Silvano, uh, which before was ridden by a Swedish girl, Gunilla Byström, and he's doing really nice now and doing the Grand Prix. And I think that's going to be a very nice horse. And uh, also I'm lucky enough to have a lot of good horses at home, so I keep trying to take them up and do as good as I can. And is your goal London as well? Of course, every, I always think thinking London and then Rio and then God knows what's after that. But I want to do a couple of Olympics definitely. And uh, London is of course the big goal, I think for every athlete at the moment. And what is your plan to get there? Or not only get there, but to win there? <laughs> to win there, I don't know. I haven't made a plan for that yet, but to get there just to ride good. And if you're there, just really, you know, if you have a good preparation and you trust yourself and your horse, you just do as good as you can and you see where you land. Thank you so much. You're welcome.